Senor. It is a beautiful day. It is windy, huh? <laughs> where are the chickens? Where are the horses? Oh, where are the boys? They in the barn? They're trying to stay out of the wind. I think so. Kiss. Kiss. <laughs> Give everybody a kiss. <laughs> All right. Hi guys. <laughs> How are you today? I am on a break. It's Thursday. It's the middle of the afternoon. Get out of there. And uh, it's a beautiful day. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. It's windy. It's crazy. Um, so I'm on my break. I'm actually working. Um, I work from home two days a week. So uh, I'm actually needing a break. We just had this big conference call and it's just insane. So um, anyway, so this is what I wear when I'm working from home. Um, I wanted to do a really quick video and answer a question that somebody said the other day on one of my other videos. She said she just bought a draft horse. Awesome, from an auction site. Yay, you awesome, you go, you actually saved a life and yay, I'm so happy when I hear stuff like that. So she says she wants to um, start riding this particular horse and she wants to know how I start horses when um, I get them and they're unknown. And that is a huge question to answer. So I figured I'd do it this way. Um, you could do it a bunch of different ways. And everybody that you talk to is gonna answer you t totally different. Um, it all depends on the person and, and your experience with horses and you your confidence around this particular horse. Cause some horses you have to approach differently than others. Um, if you are highly skilled and confident in uh, handling a horse that is either pushy or not pushy, um, then that's going to determine which, which steps you take in order to start this horse under saddle that you don't know. You know, I'm not saying that the horse hasn't already been started, but you know, um, you've seen the horse ride around in the ring and so you know that it's not going to kill somebody if you get on the back. <laughs> but um, everybody knows who's ever bought another horse is always different when they get to a different environment because your pastures are different, you might have other horses with their personalities are different, everything is different. So what I recommend and what I do as a base, it doesn't matter what horse I get it, if it's a light horse, if a heavy horse from a private seller or if it's from a, uh, an auction site, I always, always spend some time bonding with the horse. I don't get, me personally, everybody else does it differently, but I don't just get right up on its back and start going the day I bring it home. Now my neighbor over there, he does. He'll bring a, um, a sale horse home and get on it and right away start doing some work with it, which is okay. That's the way he does it. He's an old guy. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to do it. Um, and that's okay. But me personally, I like to take things a little bit slower and a little bit differently. I like to bond with the horse, get to know their personality, because that's gonna tell me how I'm going to proceed with the rest of their training. Um, if they're really quick to bond with you, then you can really quickly move on to the next step, which is um, seeing if they will allow you to get on them. Um, I gauge my bonding with how quickly they listen to me and how well they lead. Um, some horses just, they don't like to lead. They don't, they might not even like you. <laughs> but, um, oh sorry. Eeyore, get away from the chickens. Leave the chickens alone. Come on, get out of there. <laughs> chickens are gonna peck your nose. <laughs> the new ones, those little ones, um, they don't really like him very much. So, um, yeah, I take a, a couple of days to do some leading and just basic groundwork. Um, pick up their feet, brush them. Do they stand when I ask them to stand? Do they move away? Can I put something down and them not try to rush in to get it? 
you know, just assess their own personality. Do this your own way. Um, and take your own time. Once you feel comfortable saying, all right, this horse isn't going to kill me. It's not going to run me over. It's not going to run away. I can put the lead rope on the ground and walk away and they're okay. Um, then you can move on to uh, trying to see if they'll allow you on their back. Now, a horse that isn't ready for that will tell you and they will move away when you get a little bit higher than them. So then you just have to continue doing some groundwork and uh, going from there. So from there, um, it's just basically, you know, feeling out the horse. Um, I do, that's kind of like what I do, is just a lot of groundwork and then you move to the next step, which is deciding if they're gonna want you on the back. And from there, you can throw a saddle on or you just put a bridle and some reins and go bareback. Because <laughs> uh, bareback riding on draft horses is really cool. <laughs> so, um, I hope this kind of answers your question. Probably doesn't, but it might. So, um, take your time with your horse, with your new guy. Let him adjust. Um, give him about a week to a week and a half to adjust. It took Noah three weeks to really settle in. And um, personally, I rushed it a little bit for whether or not I was going to get on him or not. Um, but he still did pretty good and we did take our time and I have been able to get on him a couple times after that so he's doing just fine. So anyway, hope this answers your question. I've got to get to work. i got to have some lunch and um, yeah, do a lot of work. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great day uh, wherever you are. I hope it's really warm. Um, I hear there's a little bit of a warm front come in. I talked to somebody up in Boston today and they said that it was nice and sunny and about 45 degrees. So right now in February, that is really good for them. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks again for writing and asking that great question. Um, just know your own, your own talents and uh, pay attention to yours. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day, you guys. My guys are around here somewhere. I, I really don't know where they are. I think they're in there. But uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a great day.